Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all having a great day today. Um, before we get going, I want to wish our buddy Ragnar a happy birthday. Ragnar lives in Ohio, so I've never met Ragnar, but every interaction online has always been awesome. So I consider you a friend. We consider you a friend here. So happy birthday to you. Hope you're having an awesome day. Hope you've had an awesome weekend. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's get to a review. This is our fifth product from Haldaram's Nagpur, um, Indian Snacks, Taste of Tradition. This is Alu Bujia. I had to Google that to find out how to pronounce that, but there was 23 upvotes and zero downvotes on the way that I said it. Alu Bujia. So, I do the best I can. I always do. Um, I will leave a link to Haldaram's Nagpur their website down below, which is just halderams.com, spelled like that. Make sure you don't forget the I. It kind of hides in there. Um, this is an Indian potato snack, spicy mint flavored extruded potato snack for all ages. There you go. There's no age limit on this one, I suppose. I don't know if you'd want to give something this small to an infant, I suppose, but hey, they say all ages. Uh, product of India. Read you a little bit of actually first. I'm going to tell you I googled. What is alu bujia? Alu bujia is a dry snack made with chickpea flour and mashed potatoes or boiled potatoes It is a must make during festivals or during meetups and is served with Maruku Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. I didn't read that far Ch Shivda Namkeen and other dry snacks I should have looked those ones up it can also be enjoyed as an evening snack with a hot cup of tea. Cool, sounds good. So, let's read the ingredients here. Ingredients are potato, refined pomelain oil or palm oil, chickpeas flour, potato flakes, potato starch, tapioca starch, tepary beans, I think that's one of the ones that I looked up. Oh, sorry, tepary beans flour, and then in brackets, moth. That is one of the ones that I looked up for sure. Um, common beans, in brackets, moth dal, or tepary beans flour, is a power-packed food. It is full of health, health benefits and tastes good as well. It is an excellent source of calcium, and this is the reason why it is so popular among people's people of all group ages. Tepary beans flour originated from the United States of America. Interesting. That's really all the information I have on tepary beans. Now, where were we? <laughs> I was very curious about that one. Iodized salt, red chili powder, black salt, citric acid, that E330, E330? Yeah. Why is that word so, that number so hard for me? 330. Black pepper, clove, cardamom, dried ginger powder, dried garlic powder, refined sugar, cumin powder, cumin, I wrinkled the bag there, <laughs> bay leaves, nutmeg, cinnamon, and mint leaves. May contain peanut, tree nuts, wheat, sesame seed, milk, soya, and mustard seed. Keep away from direct sunlight. Okay, let's open it up. I'm not even going to try the pull open because we, we know that doesn't work as well on these. Brought some scissors. Okay, looks exactly like it does on the outside, essentially. Probably even the same size. Yeah, it smells, smells like chickpea, smells like a slight curry sort of a f scent. Slight chili powder scent for sure. Let's try a couple. They're quite small. I just dropped one on the Lego. I was actually going to put a towel over the Lego on and I decided not to. I was like, oh, I'm not going to be spilling all over the place. And I immediately spill. That's okay. We'll find it later. Let's try these out. Alu Bujia from Haldaram's Nagpur. We found these at Walmart. I didn't rec um, mention that. Eat my shorts. I 
I'm slightly tasting that mint. It does have a slightly minty taste to it. That is very interesting. It's different. It reminds me of something. Almost like falafel, but with chili powder and mint. stuff in my beard there. It happens. Sometimes I watch, go back and watch the videos and I absolutely have food in my beard or dirt or whatever. It happens. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> These are good. They're very, they're different. Yeah, it's a minty chili pepper flavored hummus or falafel. The little, the fact that they're so small makes it almost annoying to deal with, but maybe you're supposed to dump it into a bowl and eat it with a spoon, I don't really know. They're delicious, but I almost wish the the little noodles were like maybe thicker and bigger. I don't know. That sounds weird. <laughs> They're good. Have a good flavor to them. It's very different. I can't think of anywhere any way else to describe it other than minty chili pepper flavored hummus or falafels. Very slight, very slight tickle of spice. I can taste the chili pepper and I can sense the, it wants to sting, you know? Not a 0.5, barely even moves my needle, like barely, barely, but it's there. And I'm sure the mint probably works with that, probably, I don't know. I've never tried mint and spice together, have I? I'll have to try that, maybe. <laughs> Minty and spicy, because they're almost the opposite, but they have that same kind of burn effect to them. One's cool and one's hot, though. It might flare the other one up, or it might balance it out. I'm not sure. It might be an experiment to try, the, though. So they're very flavorful. There's a little citrusy. Earthy, nutty, kind of, because it's a chickpea, you know, there's curry kind of a flavor to it. Slightly peppery, minty, a little bit minty. It's there for sure. <laughs> flavor? Mm. For me personally, a person that loves falafel, hummus, I love chickpeas. They're delicious. I'll give these a... I give these a 9 out of 10. Honestly. I love curry. I love... I love all of those flavors that I listed. All of those attributes. Um, I will say that I wish that the, the size of these was a little bit bigger, but that's a nitpick. Really, that is a... And I looked that up. That's not a, a, an offensive term either. <laughs> I may have mentioned that on a video already too, but I mentioned that I wasn't sure about that term after using it. But I looked it up, and it's not offensive at all, so that's good. I <laughs> can't remember the origins of it, but I just want to make sure that I'm not offending the people. That's really what I'm all about. Not all that I'm about, but that's what I try to do. Anyways, um, <clears throat> would I recommend these? Yes. If you, love, if you like falafels, if you like hummus, curry... Little snacks like this, little bagged snacks, Indian snacks, I recommend it. Would I restock these? Yeah, maybe. They were cheap. These, this wasn't expensive to buy, so I would probably restock these. Um, I like these products. They have, they have tasty stuff. I like it. So yeah, I would, I would recommend it, and I would restock it. Calderams.com. We found them at Walmart. I think you can find them at Real Canadian Superstore as well. 
outside of Cantaloupes, I'm not sure where you can find it, and outside of those two stores, I'm not sure where else either, even in Cantaloupes. I don't get out much, right? <laughs> um, these are good. I like them. Alu Bugia. There it is. <laughs> so, I'm going to call this doggy over for a little hangout again. She didn't even take her ducky. Maggie, come here. You didn't even take your ducky. The noisemaker's not working as well in it anymore. It's kind of wearing out, but that's okay. I hope she doesn't get tired of it, because sometimes she does that. When the noisemaker starts working, or stops working, she'll try to find the noisemaker. I guess to fix it, I don't know. I don't know why she pulls the, the, the squeakers and the noisemakers out, but... What a good girl. Hmm. Yes. You're such a good girl, Maggie. We love having you on this channel. Yeah, she kind of took over this channel, didn't she? It's kind of hers now. <laughs> yeah, you're such a good girl. Oh, yes, you want to sit on my foot? Of course you do. Awesome. Also want to quickly thank you all one more time for all of the support over the last few days. Last year, last 36 years, depending on how long you've known me got good people in my life and I like to keep it that way so thank you all for all of your support encouragement well wishes messages really 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 appreciate it hey Miggy hey, high five high five good girl good girl Maggie wow wow what a good doggy <laughs> so anyways I'm gonna wrap the video up here how much else to talk about um In this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. Make sure you click that. Click subscribe if you haven't already. In this corner, I'm going to leave Sean in the Pack. Make sure you check out Sean in the Pack and his mom's channel as well, um, Mama Wolf, Cindy Warren, I believe. Check out both of their channels, but I'm going to leave Sean in the Pack in this corner. And up to up here, two playlists for you to check out. Hope you all have an awesome day. Take care of each other. It'll make your day better, more enjoyable, I promise. We'll hang out again soon. I promise that too. Bye-bye.